Oh hi. Uh bit of a back story before I begin this video. Uh since the inception of this TWS earphone and throughout their increasing popularity, I have been kind of ignoring them mainly because of three reasons. Yeah, three reasons. One, because for a careless guy like me, I am sure to lose one. Two, if I make a hierarchy of sound quality, this would come last. And three, because I am an idiot. I am an idiot who used to think like that. Now I have been using sound called Liberty Air 2, which is this tiny little package. And after using it for a couple of months, I have been kind of in love with them, and they are exceptional. Costly, but exceptional. Let me explain. But before that, my name is Parth. You're watching Infobell, and in this video, let's talk about Soundcore Liberty Air 2. Take your pretty outfit and go. Show yourself right out of my soul. Now before I lose my control. Grass is always greener, you know. So I used to stand in here for. Run back home to mama, let's go. Okay, so right off the bat, the thing that really impressed me was the tiny size and the in-hand feel. I know this is a TWS, so it is supposed to be small. but even in comparison this is pocketable than most especially considering the battery life it offers which we will talk about little bit later the build quality feels very premium in fact the moment i received this product everything felt minimal and classy right from the unboxing experience something you would associate with the more premium brands but saying that i would have liked if the hinge was a touch more reassuring however the overall build seems nice i have already dropped this case but there is barely even a scratch the ear pistons are also made from very good quality plastic the finish provides a good finger grip so they are easy to pull out from the case now for a TWS earphone the fit is really important because that ensures how secure they are on your ear before using any TWS earphone i always had this fear of dropping it or losing it if i was little too adventurous but that's not the case here these fit perfectly snug out of the box they come with very good quality silicon tips and they do provide multiple sizes of it so no matter your ear canal size you are covered on that front However, I can't say the same thing about the touch controls though. Now there isn't any button in this earphone. All the operations are done by touch controls. Single tap on the right bud increases the volume. Single tap on the left bud decreases the volume. Double tap pauses anything you are playing and double tap on the left bud triggers voice assistant. And to navigate between the tracks, you have to tap and hold to right and left ear pistons. Now you can configure the touch controls through the app, but the problem is they are not the world's most sophisticated touch controls they are too sensitive they even register touch control when you are trying to put the earphone in your ear or trying to push it in so you can accidentally trigger some of the functions sometimes apart from that they are fine nothing special connection wise there is no problem it has bluetooth 5.0 so it is fast and solid i can easily use this from a distance of 10 to 15 feet without any disturbance even if there is a wall in between now you can also use one of the earphone individually now that's really helpful when you are taking some calls at least for me okay talking about calls let's talk about the microphone quality of this earphone now to test that what i have done is i have called to my second number and this call is been recorded over there and to avoid any interference i have kept that second phone in another room now the company claims there are four microphones for better noise cancelling and audio capture but you better be the judge of that to give you an idea about the environment there is a fan running overhead and the, all the windows are open and this is kind of the typical situation every day at home so let me know what you think about the background noise cancellation and the microphone quality anyway back to the review 
it automatically disconnects when you put the earphone inside the case and when you take them out it automatically connects with the last pair device now here is one concern for me it does not support dual connectivity so you have to disconnect from one device to connect to another now that's a painful process especially in this time when you have to attend one meeting on your pc and then jump on to another call on your phone so it's a painful process switching between from your phone to your pc in fact it is easier to do it on a wired earphone where you can unplug from one device and just plug it into another i would have understood if this was some 3000 rupees budget earphone but at this price this feature should have been part of the plan okay enough of rant let's move on to some good part let's talk about the battery life The battery life is insane. Now I have not exactly recorded the time while using them but here is my experience. With full charge which takes couple of hours by the way, I started using it as my daily driver. Now my general earphone usage includes attending lectures, listening to music or podcast, watching some YouTube videos, watching some OTT content and casual PC games. That's about 4 to 5 hours of daily usage. With that kind of usage, I can easily last 5 days while getting notification for low battery on the 6th day. They claim about 28 hours with the case and the earphone itself can hold the charge for 7 hours and I don't think they are accurate but I think they are almost there. Now they also support fast charging and wireless charging. So they have ticked all the boxes on the endurance front. said earlier i did not have high hopes for the ws earphone in terms of sound quality because one of my first experience was apple earphones the first generation and to be honest i did not like their sound quality at least for their price but this one has really busted my misconception the bass is quite headphone like it has thumb punch and details in it the beats are also very good vocals are good it does not get recessed by the punchy bass the highs also have quite a good resolution basically my point is the sound signature is really impressive now there is no active noise cancellation however the earphone fits snug to your ears so that provides quite a good noise isolation now there is something called hear id technology which is basically there to give you a more personalized experience now for that you have to run some calibration through the app to be honest it did not change much in my case the sound which came out of the box and the sound that was coming after the calibration was almost similar maybe i have a perfect ear anyway jokes aside apart from the hear id technology the app also lets you change the sound signature and it does come bundled with some pre-configured ones although i was happy with the default sound signature but other sound signatures also are not gimmick they do provide a different taste which is quite impressive but by far the most impressive thing in this earphone is the sound stage and the imaging which keeps you immersed in the music to be honest i was not expecting such a good sound stage from a tws earphone and for the same reason watching movies and playing games are also an enjoyable experience however it is not all great in this earphone the white noise is noticeable if you pay attention especially after you pause the music now how much a problem is that to be honest, it hardly bothered me. However, if I take that one minor issue out, there are no other complaints. So the question is, should you buy it? The thing is, there is very few minor issues, but also you have to consider that it is not a cheap earphone. And at this price, if there is any issue, that is something not warranted for. And also there is this missed opportunity of dual connectivity. However, if you look past those minor issues, this is quite a complete package. Decent build quality, premium look, great battery life with fast charging and wireless charging support and surprisingly impressive sound quality and for the same reason you will always find it inside my backpack and it is one of the easiest recommendations from me so if you are in the budget do consider this earphone i will leave a link down below let me know if you have any queries in the comment section that will be all for this video until next time this is Parth signing off from infopal and i will see you in the next video